and good day and welcome to How to Build Nightmare from BattleBox Season 2, 1, 5.0, 4.0, 3.0, 2.0, 1.0. Uh, basically, it's Nightmare. You know, pretty good, um, interesting robot. Um, apparently, he was um, on the BattleBots page when I counted the 67 robots, and he was one of the robots there. So he's included in BattleBots Season 4, apparently. Even though I'm pretty sure he doesn't compete. So anyway, um, yeah, okay. So let's get to how to build this robot here. The materials you're going to need. You're going to need these instructions, which are on my website. Most likely. Um... Black duct tape and gray duct tape. If you don't feel like up, if you're like, if you're not up to coloring and you just want to cut out stuff, um, if you are up to coloring, black duct, um, black marker or pen, or black duct tape, obviously, um, pencil, eraser, pair of scissors, a means of cutting a hole, toothpick, probably a better toothpick, um, and some cardboard. Or a card, depending on how you want to do this. This. Um, also, ruler. Circle thingy if you want to use one of these. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, so let's get to how to build a nightmare. I think that was it, but actually... Tape. Sell a tape. I think that's L. I'm not exactly sure, though, so don't take my word for it. Anyway, um, so first thing you're going to do. Copy these instructions onto a piece of cardboard, and then color it and cut it out. Or copy onto a piece of card and then duct tape the back and color and cut it out. Or copy it onto a piece of card, glue it onto a piece of ca normal cardboard, copy the instructions on and color it and cut it out. So let's get to the main body of Nightmare, basically not making the spinner. So let's get to it. We're going to start with like the main body of Nightmare before we get like to the wheel attachment. And the first thing you're going to do is um, take these two pieces. And you're going to line them up, basic, most likely. Also, when I say, like, so, I mean, practically, like, so, also, when I fold over a piece of tape, um, and your piece of tape is not long enough, you just use a second piece of tape, or vice versa. Anyway, you're going to cut a hole. Um, most likely, you're going to want to line these up. Um, yeah. Toothpick-sized hole. So, take some tape. Take some tape, attach it to the... Practically, the top of to the side of this? I don't know, okay. Um, take, um, this piece, I believe... Nope, it's this piece, I think. Um, attach it on. Take, um, this piece. Attach it onto the opposite side. Practically like so. Uh, getting that weird bend I just did in the tape. Um, yeah, okay, um, take this piece of tape. Covered cardboard piece. I, I don't know what I'm saying right now. So just random stuff, kind of. Ish. Um, take the cardboard and you're just going to kind of fold it to kind of a cubish shape. I'll be back. Okay, so you might need to reinforce your tape around this piece, but basically what you're going to do is you're basically going to have folded your tape all the way around it to create kind of a cubish shape. But I'm just I'm doing the second piece of tape just to reinforce it. You might need to do that. So yeah. Um, okay, so take some more tape. Okay, so take said tape, attach it to this piece. Um, take said piece and attach it to this, like, kind of angular area. Just going to fold it on, practically like so. And, yeah. So, you kind of have this shape now. Um, take some more tape. Also, cut up, a, uh, cut, cut off a large um, pieces of these areas, um, yeah, so take some more tape, like I said, take some tape, attach it to the, to this little circle piece, and you're just going to fold these together, practically like so, take some more tape, take some tape, attach it to this piece, um, and you're basically just going to attach it somewhere around here, now this is basically, the, like, the motor piece of Nightmare, that's what this, I think that's what this is supposed to represent. I'm not exactly sure. Anyway, so take it, and you're just going to wrap around your tape. Practically like so. Take some more tape. Um, just so you guys do know, I'm going to do this once on camera and then one off camera. Because there's two, basically two identical pieces of these. So, um, six sets of these pieces. 
is what I'm saying, basically. So, um, take some tape and you're going to attach it to this piece of cardboard like I already am, already did on the screen, screen. But, um, then take this piece and attach it on. Yep. So, um, take some more tape. So, take some more tape if you need to, like I was about to say, basically, I think. Um, and you're going to attach this piece on. I just realized, so I did not have this piece on because I completely forgot about it because you're going to need four of these. But that's already on the instructions, so that's just my fault. Anyway, take some more tape if you need to, and you're just going to attach it to these pieces, which you attach at angles, practically like so. And just kind of going to kind of do like the cubish thing I did with these pieces over here. But you, um, I'll be back. Yeah, so you're gonna have like this piece, and then then you're gonna take some more tape, and basically do the double-sided rolly thingy, attach it to this wheel piece, and because this goes on an angle, I think it goes like this. I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna have it like so, and you're practically gonna do this twice. So I'll be back with the other pieces. Do I would recommend having the wheel off before when you're attaching these on so put this to the side basically so i'm going to do this once and then I'm, then i'm going to do the other piece off screen but basically you're going to take some tape you're going to attach it to the side of here basically i'm just going to attach it around here then you're going to take some more tape take your said tape and you're just going to attach it on to here about here i'd say just going to attach it on and yeah and you're practically going to do the exact same thing with this piece, and then you might need to reinforce it pretty well. So, yeah, it should look something like this once you, like, just stand it up. But anyway, take some more tape, um, attach it to this piece. Now, um, you might have a circle which will resemble the earlier seasons of Nightmare. Or you can kind of cut it out like this to give it a better look, to look a lot more like the newer season Nightmare. Anyway, you're going to wrap your tape around it to reinforce it, and then you're also going to probably want to do this over here to reinforce the topish area as well and then you might need to cut off some of the tape as well or fold it inward and then you're going to create a hole that's larger than toothpick size in the middle or center so once you've done that you're just going to take some tape i'm kind of joking um you don't need tape for this part basically um take your toothpick you're going to insert it through the hole and you're going to take your weapon bar and you're just going to insert it through the toothpick and then you're going to take the other part of the toothpick and insert it through the hole and then you're going to have nightmare basically so yeah this is my nightmare model um I have some thoughts on it. I think it looks pretty decent. I feel like these are a bit too long. And the weapon doesn't look as good as I wanted it to look. It should spin. It should have spin. Like, doesn't spin that well, so. I'm not that happy with it. But it's not that bad. I think it turned out fairly good. So, goodbye.